Imagine waking up every morning in a 750-acre Hawaiian paradise, surrounded by lush greenery, crystal clear waters, and the sound of tropical birds chirping in the distance. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, for Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, this is his reality, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. Zuckerberg's Hawaiian estate is a staggering 750 acres, equivalent to more than 500 football fields. This isn't just a vacation home, it's a self-sustaining oasis, complete with multiple houses, a working ranch, and rumor has it, a 5000 square foot underground shelter. Yes, you read that right, an underground shelter. The intrigue is palpable, and we're just getting started. Zuckerberg's Hawaiian paradise is a testament to his wealth and influence, but it also raises questions about the impact of billionaires on local communities and the environment. The Palo Alto Fortress. But Zuckerberg's property obsession doesn't stop at the beach. In Palo Alto, California, where Facebook is headquartered, he's built a mini empire. Forget cozy neighborhood gatherings, Zuckerberg reportedly spent a whopping $43 million to buy out several houses surrounding his main residence, ensuring ultimate privacy. It's not just about having a big backyard, it's about creating a fortress of solitude. This move has been criticized by some as an excessive display of wealth and a way to isolate himself from the community. However, Zuckerberg's supporters argue that he has the right to protect his privacy and that his investments in the area have contributed to the local economy, the Lake Tahoe luxury. And if that's not enough, Zuckerberg also owns a sprawling estate on Lake Tahoe, boasting not one, but two stunning mansions with breathtaking views. We're talking about a billionaire's playground here, folks. But what drives Zuckerberg to amass such a vast collection of properties and luxury items? Is it a desire for ultimate privacy and security, or simply a case of having the means and indulging in a lavish lifestyle. Some speculate that Zuckerberg's real estate ventures are a way to prepare for a doomsday scenario, while others believe he's simply living the dream of a tech mogul who has achieved immense success. The finer things in life, living the life of a billionaire isn't just about land and houses though. Zuckerberg has a taste for the finer things in life and his possessions reflect that. His 350-foot yacht, the Ulysses, is a palace on water, complete with a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, a movie theater, and even a helicopter landing pad. For those quick getaways, he has a $1.3 million Pagani Huayra hypercar at his disposal. But don't be fooled, Zuckerberg is also known to drive a Honda Fit around town, keeping things grounded, pun intended, sometimes. These luxury items are a far cry from Zuckerberg's humble beginnings, where he famously wore hoodies and t-shirts to important meetings. His transformation into a billionaire playboy has been a source of fascination for many, controversy and criticism. But Zuckerberg's real estate ventures haven't been without controversy. In Hawaii, he's criticized for acquiring land that some native Hawaiians consider ancestral. There have also been questions about the legality of tactics used to purchase some properties. Love him or hate him, there's no denying that Mark Zuckerberg has built an impressive and somewhat eccentric real estate empire. His choices raise questions about wealth, privacy, and the impact of billionaires on local communities. Despite the controversies, Zuckerberg's property buying spree continues. In 2022, he made headlines again by selling his San Francisco townhouse for a cool $31 million, a hefty profit considering he bought it for $10 million a decade earlier. This move suggests Zuckerberg might be focusing his real estate interests elsewhere, perhaps doubling down on his Hawaiian paradise. The bigger picture. Zuckerberg isn't the only one with a taste for extravagant living. Tech billionaires seem to be in a league of their own when it comes to real estate. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, reportedly owns a sprawling ranch in Texas, complete with a runway long enough to land private jets. Larry Page, another Google co-founder, has a collection of eco-friendly homes around the world. These are just a few examples. The list goes on. The rise of tech billionaires has coincided with a growing wealth gap in the United States and around the world. While some argue that these entrepreneurs have created jobs and driven innovation, others criticize the concentration of wealth and the lack of social responsibility among the ultra-rich. 
What does it all mean? So what does this trend of billionaire real estate obsession tell us? It certainly highlights the vast wealth inequality that exists in today's world. While some struggle to afford necessities, others are snapping up multiple mansions and yachts. It also raises questions about the environmental impact of these mega estates. Maintaining sprawling properties, luxury vehicles, and yachts require significant resources and energy consumption. However, some argue that these billionaires are investing in cutting edge technologies and sustainable practices that could have a positive impact on the environment in the long run, a glimpse into the future. But there's another way to look at it. Perhaps these extravagant purchases are a sign of a booming tech industry and a reflection of the ingenuity and hard work of these entrepreneurs. Maybe Zuckerberg's Hawaiian estate will one day be a model for sustainable living, integrating cutting edge technology with eco-friendly practices. Ultimately, the legacy of Mark Zuckerberg's real estate empire remains to be written. Will it be remembered as a symbol of excess and disregard for the environment? Or will it be seen as a testament to human ambition and innovation? Only time will tell. As the world grapples with the challenges of climate change and inequality, the actions of billionaires like Zuckerberg will be closely watched and scrutinized. The world of the ultra wealthy. In the meantime, Zuckerberg's story serves as a fascinating glimpse into the world of the ultra wealthy. It's a world where privacy is paramount. Luxury knows no bounds and the future seems to be a playground for the super rich. Whether you find it inspiring, outrageous, or simply curious, one thing's for sure, Mark Zuckerberg's real estate portfolio is a conversation starter. The world of billionaire real estate is a world of excess and privilege, but it's also a world where the line between fantasy and reality is often blurred. From underground shelters to private islands, the ultra-wealthy are redefining what it means to live the dream. The bigger narrative. But Zuckerberg's story is just one chapter in a larger narrative. The tech boom has minted a new generation of billionaires, each with their unique approach to real estate. What does this trend mean for the future? Will these extravagant purchases become the norm, or will there be a shift towards more responsible and sustainable practices? The answer remains to be seen, but one thing's for sure, the world of billionaire real estate is a fascinating one, filled with intrigue, controversy, and a glimpse into a future that's still being shaped. As the world becomes increasingly interconnected and technology continues to shape our lives, the actions of billionaires like Zuckerberg will have far reaching consequences. So the next time you scroll through social media on your phone, remember, the man behind the platform might just be living on his private island, dreaming of the future from a luxury yacht. The world of billionaire real estate is a wild ride, and we're just getting started. Stay tuned for more exclusive content, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates.